so this was a lot of inking uh, done and before we can assemble um, our pockets and glue the flaps on we have to remember you still want to decorate your um, various parts with decorative paper so there's another awful lot of cutting uh, to be done and also um, let me just give you uh, the reason why you would need to be um, for example the main pockets you can't decorate now with the decorative paper whilst your flaps that you glue on you should do for example this is the front side flap all right and it goes on like so and it's going to be glued to the back imagine you already had put your designer paper on here and then you glue this on this would spoil the whole look so um you would first need to glue the flaps to your front sides this is the next step glue the front side flaps to your front sides making sure that this where the spare bit is, is your front. Don't accidentally glue it on this side, then it's wrong. So this is the front side because it has the spare bit here for the tab that slides in to grab. And the flap goes on here. And is then glued on here. And also, once you've put this in place, you cannot go ahead and straight away put this in. Because if you, if you glue your pocket onto here now you cannot put the strip in that is supposed to decorate the back side of your so there is various steps you have to uh, consider so the next thing you all need to do is glue the front flaps like actually decorate your flaps with paper don't decorate the main pocket yet glue the flaps on then decorate the back side and if you like also the front side of your pocket and once you've done these then it's time to bring in this pocket that's the that, that's the way to go and um before we are going ahead with this i want to give you the measurements for look at the bundle of designer paper that i cut it's loads loads and loads that you're going to cut so again i'm going to put all these measurements um onto my blog i've actually made a plan because i want to make sure that um anytime you whatever combination of um page you open like the front flap down or the um, tab out or whatever i don't want any paper to be the same so that's why i've got um loads of uh, piles here but on my um prototype i've actually noted it so for this flap here the front flap that is um, going to be glued to the front pocket, to the main pocket, you need 12 pieces, Y12, it has two sides, one, two, and you've got six. So six by two means 12 pieces of DSP measuring four and a quarter inch by three and three quarter of an inch. That's your designer paper for the uh, flap. Then you have two measurements because the main page here has a spare, spare bit here, so the designer paper going on this front is of a smaller measurement than the one that goes to the back of your uh, pocket. So you need to cut six times four three quarter of an inch by three three sixteenths of an inch to make sure that this is not going to be in the way. And for the back side, you do six times four three quarter of an inch by three three quarters of an inch. So that's that done. Your tab that pulls out you will have to do a 12 because it has two sides. So six of these tabs by two sides is 12. 12 times four five eighths of an inch by two seven eighths of an inch is your um, tab that goes in here. And then when you flip your page over, you have this side flap that goes to the back side. And again, because you have six of these flaps, but each flap has two sides, you would need to cut 12 times three and a quarter by four three quarters of an inch and then um, your designer paper for the tab that slides in here again six of these tabs two sides so 12 times 
three three quarters of an inch by three one quarter of an inch and the last bit is for your pockets six strips that measure three three quarter of an inch by one three quarter of an inch so this is all the designer paper you would need to do and the only um paper that uh, i don't round is the one the corners i'm not going to round the corners for this because this is the paper i've chosen for my pockets so this is um because the pocket has no rounded corners so um I'm leaving this and I'm going to glue this on like so. So um, this is the next bit. Um, decorate all your individual bits and don't decorate your main pages yet, uh, the, the main pockets. Don't decorate them before you have glued in your front side flap, but your front side flap needs to be decorated first as well because uh, it's easier to decorate them when they're not glued in place yet. And once you've done this, then you can decorate your front and as well you have to decorate the back before you can glue in your pocket um, so this is the way it goes so i'm going to leave you with this and i'm going to get busy um, i'm also going to ink all the edges of my uh, designer paper it's up to you if you want to do that or not um, and it's up to you if you want to round your corners but you will see that i'm going to round my corners especially the corners of the dsp that goes onto my various tabs all right, so um, this is as far as we've come and happy cutting and inking and gluing. And um, once we've assembled all our pockets, um, once I've actually dec decorated all my uh, paper on my various bits here, I'm going to come back to you and show you how to assemble one complete pocket. And then apparently you need to do six times the same work. And then we are almost done because then we have to pop it on our spine and pop it in the, in the album. All right. So um, I'll see you soon. All right. So after a lot of uh, scoring, cutting, inking edges and putting things together, I've already um, put the first five pockets together and I'm going to uh, talk to you how to put one pocket together because when you know how to do one, you can do the other five without my tuition as well. So I'm going to show you what it looks like. So this is the finished pocket, uh, which is one page of your album, apparently. And this is the spine and the page is going to sit on here like so all right this is how it's going to sit on here and first thing you see is when you open the album you look at this flap you can put your pictures on here or whatever you want to put in here and then you have page one and two and the tab slides out from here and then when you turn your page over, you look at this flap that opens up like so and reveals this. And oops. All right. And this is um, the page. So apparently I'm going to show you because there are a few bits and bobs you need to remember. First of all, remember, I hope you all remember that the page that doesn't have the flap to glue together gets this punch here. And then you have glued it together like so. And then the next thing to do is you do not decorate the front nor the back of this main pocket. You wait, but you can decorate all the other bits. And this is the first thing that is going to be glued on and i used to do it I'm, I'm doing it like this so i fold this behind here making sure that it's perfectly aligned put it down on face down and then i'm going to glue this on so here we go get my glue down oh that's really smooshed let me just quickly clean my bottle that's a mess now you can tell i've been doing a lot of gluing today all right, so here we go. I used wet glue for all this work because I want my album to last. And you fold it over and you use your bone folder. It doesn't matter if it smudges out a bit here because you can easily erase it. And anyway, you're going to cover with designer paper. So later on. This doesn't matter. All right, so 
and then you check if it's straight yes it is so make sure that when you glue this page on this is the front here <laughs> don't get mixed up all right so this was the first bit it's nice and straight the second flap that you need to glue on is this one and this is the back side of your page and it goes in like so so here is the glue so the flap folds inwards and you put the glue up here don't be too generous because you don't want it to smudge inside your pocket and then glue your pocket shut so again i close it i knock it perfect alignment i burnish it burnish it burnish it and then before anything else can happen you go back here and you check and nothing has smudged out so this is the front glued in and this is the back flap and now you can actually carry on with the rest so before if you put it put on this you will struggle to put this on so this is why you had to wait so the next thing you're going to do is you glue in your decorative paper for the back side of your main pocket like so Maggie is singing again. Can you hear her? We had a lot of snow today. And the birds have been sitting in their cages looking outside. They can't wait for spring to get out in the fresh air because we let them out. Our macaw sits in the trees. He can fly freely if he wants to. But currently they're all stuck in the house because it's too cold outside for them. And even we've got an aviary heating. We just don't want to take the risk. So, all right, so the next thing now that you've put in the back side of your um, page, you pop on your pocket and before you glue these two in, you first do the bottom one and then, can you see what I'm doing? Peel this off and peel that off. Jesus Christ, a little bit here. And you're just going to pop this down like so and give it a very good rub. So now you know this takes this. Looks beautiful, doesn't it? And This tag here goes in here, like so. And that's your page finished, almost finished. What's left to put in place is this one. And this is the smaller bit because of this um, little spared out bit there. We need to cut the paper slightly smaller, but I have given you the measurements and I'm going to put them again on my blog. So. Get your wet glue out, pop it on, eyeball it. You can still push it because that's the advantage of wet glue. All right, so here we go. So this is this pocket done. And we have a pile of six pages and these six pages are now uh, going to be glued onto our spine but first of all before doing that i would need to glue in my spine mm -hmm. so um this is a lot of peeling peel all the strips off
getting sticky now <laughs> and then you really before you put it down need to check the position very well so remember here's your two lines and you want to eyeball it roughly centered so like one sixteenth of an inch to each binding and I think this is looking good so you give it a good rub you want to burnish between each page make sure that your sticky tape sticks well and then the next thing you would need to with the help of the bone folder bend this up all right and we do the same on this side this is the line just going to turn it around now slowly pushing this in until it's actually in and I have to mind because my pattern here my paper has a pattern that is uh, writing so um, I must make sure that I don't turn it by accident upside down so this is the right way up so when I glue my pages in and it's like this way up then that looks stupid so if you use a pattern that has a direction um, mind your direction so this is um, what you've got and now you would use again make sure the pattern is the right way up you're going to glue these on here which I'm going to do so this one goes here Make sure your pattern is the right way up. I just double checked, so this should be fine. And as you can see, this is perfect coverage here now. Everything is covered. Give it a good rub. Burnish well. Spread your glue. And time for the second bit. Oh, it's so exciting we're almost done what's left to do is the closure so this way up yes going to slide my paper in make sure it's nice and straight oops now Thanks God, this is a hidden binding. That means it hides the smudged bits as well. <laughs> so here we go. That was a lot of glue. I need inwards here. If anything comes out, just take it off. So this is what our album uh, or your album should look like by now. So you have, oops, have to let it dry. Um, we now have to actually put our pages in. And to put the pages in, we take out all the tags um, we don't need, like the middle one. And this one is only going to fall out. And then again this is how I do it so because if you squeeze here you know like this opens up like so so once I've peeled this I'll come in from here and I'll just slide it over like so and then burnish it so that it adheres well and that's my page placed in my album 
So here we go. Number one and number two. So don't forget to take your tags out. Open up your page and can you see what I'm doing? I'm coming from here. I'm aiming. my page push it down really well give it a rub while you're pushing down and this is page number one sitting in your album and this is what you're going to do with all the pages and um, I'm going to do this now uh, offline and I will be back uh, in a few minutes so this is what it looks like and all the pages are glued in and your album should easily allow to flip over the pages like so and you can um, fill it with your memories. I really like the way it has come out and what's left to do now is actually the closure which will be a belly band and uh, to decorate the album. Um, if you like what you could do is you could um, put a little pocket on here as well as here but um, I think because if you count actually this is one two three four five six seven eight nine pictures per page and it's six pages so um, nine times six is 54 pictures that will go into this little album which is quite a lot I think and um, I'm quite pleased um, so far with our work and um, I will be back uh, with uh, the next step which will be the decorating of the book and the belly band. So what's left to do is actually um, the belly band for this beautiful album and I'm going to show you um, how you're going to do this and I've uh, prepared already the panel the panel this is this one here is cut from the purple cardstock and a piece of decorative paper and the dies I've used are actually not from Stampin' Up they are from X-Card Lifetime Guarantees and well it doesn't say what they're called but um, this is what they look like and I've used these two so quite large one you get them from Doe Crafts and um, they're called nesting dice square parenthesis or something like that never heard of it well anyway they are very nice and they create this shape and um, I've already pre-cut this and the flowers are actually made from the pansy punch stamping up pansy punch and um, <clears throat> I'm just I just cut four like so out and um, I've glued them together and once this is dry, it's not dry yet, you just crimp them up and then fluff them open again and arrange them and that's how you actually create the flowers. And this is um, a little flourish from the Flourish Thin Lids die cut set and this is a rhinestone gem and yeah, you can decorate, uh, literally you don't have to copy my deco decoration, you can um, do it the way you like it but this is how I did it so I just wanted to let you know. So um, I'm putting this to the side and I'll show you how to go ahead with this. So you would need a strip of cardstock measuring three and a half inches by the full length of your cardstock which is 12 by 12 or 11 three quarters if it was from an A4. And you're going to get your scoreboard out uh, and you need a small piece of cardstock that is uh, just um, one and a half inch wide and the length is actually roughly like so, I don't know, this is centimeters, 10 centimeters, uh, like three inches or something. Um, we have to cut this later to um, fit. So you need your punch, uh, your scoreboard, can you see it? And you are scoring at one and a half all the way down. And you're scoring at three all the way down. All right, like so. And then you turn it around. And now I need to get my measurements. Where is it? Here it is. And you are going to score that the long side at one and three quarters, which is here. And then you score at three five eighths, three, one, two, three, four, five eighths of an inch, which is here. Seven, seven eighths. Oops, was that straight? Yes. 
seven, seven, eight. This is here. And uh, the last one is at nine and three quarters, which is here. All right. So this is all the scoring you need to do for your belly band. And oops, put this away. This is what you're left with. So first of all, you burnish your folds like so. And this one inwards like so. I am actually going to um, cut the sides here, wedge them, that will help. So we're going to wedge this as well. And um, this is how you um, should look like by now. And then you're just going to burnish the rest of your score marks. And then it's time to get your glue out. The first thing you're going to glue down is this flap, actually, um, because this is going to secure a very nice seam of your belly band um, once it's dried. So just pop in the glue. Like so. And then you just put this over give it a good rub i mean a really good rub doesn't matter if it smudges because it's the inside that's going to be covered in glue anyway so rub it to get this edge as sharp as possible and then the next thing you are going to burnish your or not burnish but like fold it again to train the paper to stay in shape and i need my book I need to take this off because this is the finished belly band and you will see that if you try your belly band on oops oh don't tell me i did the wrong scoring yes i did i can't count or what uh, we have to start again i did i i, I misscored it here look Ah, oh, what a dickhead. Sorry for swearing, but... Well, never mind. It's just a demonstration. So I've given you the wrong measurement. Apparently, I, I, I don't think I've given you the wrong measurement. I can't read my own um, scale here. This first scoring is wrong. This first score line... What did I say? One and a half. Uh, and it was... See, I scored one and a half. Can you see it? I scored at one and a half and actually it's one three quarters so yeah all right one and three quarters which is here and I'm just going to do this sorry for that my bad so I'm just quickly going to try it on now it should fit Oh, now I've even bent it to the wrong side. Oh, silly me. Now, here we go. All right. So you see that it doesn't close up fully. So this is where this strip comes in. And you're going to glue this in here. And um, later on underneath. And this is going to be covered by your tag so they don't you don't really see it so this is how you're doing the belly band so let me just complete this job now with the wrong scoring sorry for that i'm going to repeat the measurements you are going to score on the long side at one three quarters three five eighths of an inch seven seven eighths of an inch and nine three quarters of an inch that's where you score all right here we go add glue And add this card, which is slightly, as you can see, slightly smaller than the one and a half inch so that it fits in perfectly. So like a sixteenth of an inch smaller. And then <clears throat> you're going to fold it up. Put 
push it in really well rub it all right just make sure that this goes in all the way give it a good rub and here we go this is the belly band almost done so if you try it on again what am i doing here this now this is right so this is the wrong end here so i'm going to actually in case your strip here was too long you could actually cut it i'm I, i'm going to cut it a bit because it's not needed so i'm now going to literally add glue here glue this together and then once this has set i'm going to come in with my panels and cover this and that's how you do your belly band. I'm not going to show you how to finish off all the decoration. Um, as you can see on the pictures, um, you, you can uh, get an idea of what you could do. Or you can do a completely different decoration. But the belly band needs to be extended slightly. And I've just showed you how to do this. And this is how it goes. And then um, that's it. And actually uh, make sure you use the right, right scoring measurements. Because this doesn't look nice. Um, I wouldn't sell it like this. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much for watching. And um, this is um, my album done. And I hope you enjoyed it. And um, I'm going to give it a try. And maybe you want to send me your pictures or leave me a comment about what you think of my work. Anything is appreciated. Unless you slag me off. In that case, just keep it to yourself if you don't like my work. But I think most people do like it. And I'm actually quite proud of this make. And um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, feel free to do so. Because I will be adding more in the future. I craft on a daily basis. So there's still uh, loads more to come. So thanks for uh, joining me and watching all this. And have fun. Bye.